I think Hertz felt he had had an opportunity in this country that simply would not exist anywhere else in the world. I mean, the comment he made when he set up the foundation was that only in this country could an immigrant boy who, remember, didn't speak the language have opportunities like this. One of the stories he tells about himself is being corrected on the streets of Chicago by an old man who explained to him in German, because Hertz spoke no English at the time, that you weren't going to be successful selling the morning paper in the afternoon. And the fellow bought all of his papers and gave him money and said, now go buy afternoon papers and try to sell them. And he said, who else would have cared about a kid that didn't even speak the local language except in this country? So I think he was very strongly committed. But you also have to remember, and remember 1947, I grew up in the, the segregated South in Texas, um, from day one, this was open to everybody, males, females, blacks, whites. Hertz made it very, very clear that any citizen or permanent resident of this country was eligible for for one of his fellowships at a time when the universities had Jewish quotas and didn't admit blacks and lots of other things. So having been a hard-edged businessman, he still had a very strongly egalitarian vision for his foundation and for the nation.